Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 18th video in Python 3 programming language and our 4th video in Python object oriented programming concepts. Uh, in the previous video we have learned about inheritance. So in this video we are going to talk about multiple inheritance. So what is multiple inheritance? Uh, if a class inherit more than one class we can call it multiple inheritance. So what I mean, for example, in here I have two class, uh, class A and class B. So these two class are base class. And after that I have another class that is called class C. Now this class C inherit from class A and B. And this is drive class. Now this class C can access to all attributes and behaviors of class A. And also uh, class C can access to all attributes and behaviors of class B. So uh, this is a simple expla explanation of multiple inheritance. Uh, now I'm going to open my PyCharm ID and I'm going to show you the practical example. So now let's uh, open the PyCharm ID. So guys this is my PyCharm ID and this example is from the previous video. Uh, it was about inheritance so you can watch the previous video uh, if you want let me create a new python file and i'm going to call it a uh, multi pull inheritance okay now uh, i have a class a and in the class a i'm going to just create a method of uh, move like this and i'm going to print uh, moving like this uh, let me create another class uh, at the name of class B. Now this class also let me create an each uh, method for this. So print and let me print eating. Okay, now we have two base class. Uh, after this, let me create another class, uh, class C. Now my this class C inherit from A and B. Okay. Now, I don't want to add functionality for this, but if you want, you can add. Let me just give it fast. Uh, and now, uh, this class C can access to our eat method, and also this class C can access to our move method of our two base classes. Uh, let me prove it. Uh, I'm going to create an object of C, C, and now I can see dot. You can see that now I can access to move and eat class of my two base class uh, c dot move and c dot eight eat so now let me run it <coughs> and i'm going to run this okay now you can see moving eating even though we don't have this move and eat uh, methods in our uh, uh, class c but because it, uh, it drives uh, from, uh, it inherited from class B and C, uh, we can access to uh, these methods. Uh, let me create an, uh, uh, a little uh, complex, uh, complex example uh, that you can um, uh, know more about multiple inheritance. So uh, first, uh, let me uh, create another Python file uh, right click and let me create a uh, multiple inheritance two. okay now in this class uh, first I'm going to create a class person so my first base class in this class let me write the uh, constructor now in here uh, I'm going to uh, print uh, like pre please uh, enter your details okay now after this let me create some uh, attributes for this class so I'm going to take from the user so uh, enter name uh, self dot l name and put enter uh, last name and also let me give self dot phone uh, input enter phone okay like this uh, also uh, let me 
add a self dot each input uh, enter each okay now this is our class person also also I'm going to create a method for this so diff uh, print uh, details and in here I'm going to print my uh, let me give it um, backslash backslash in so I'm going to print first the name like this and uh, self dot name <coughs> also I'm going to print the last name so last name self dot l name uh, print uh, I have phone so phone number and self dot phone mm, print and the last one is each self dot each okay now I have created my class person also with some attributes and uh, methods. Uh, I'm going to create another class. This class is uh, student marks. I'm going to call it student marks. And, uh, <coughs> and here, uh, let me first create the initializer or constructor. So let me print, uh, please enter up your marks now let me add self dot mat uh, and convert this to integer uh, prompt uh, input sorry if I okay uh, mark now you can say mat mark and uh, self dot history convert this to end because these are integer numbers so history mark <coughs> and uh, let me create another one so programming for example I'm going to write programming int and you can give input and uh, programming marks mark okay uh, after this let me create a method for my this uh, uh, class so I want to give it a print details uh, okay now print details uh, and here I'm going to uh, first uh, first uh, I'm going to uh, sum the total marks of the um, of the uh, these two uh, three subjects so total exam marks and uh, so self dot mat plus uh, self dot story plus self dot programming okay after this I'm going to check so if uh, total max number is uh, less than 80 if this is the case I'm going to first print the total number so uh, total exam marks mm, like this and uh, let me convert this to string and write the total uh, exam mark marks and after this that I'm going to print that you are failed okay uh, else and the else condition of uh, I'm going to uh, first print the total exam marks exam marks and uh, <coughs> Let me convert to str and total exam marks. Uh, at the end, uh, I want to write that you you are sexist. So like this, okay. Uh, now this is uh, our uh, 
another class now I'm going to create another class that uh, inherit from these two class so this is class uh, mm, what was my okay this is class student so I'm going to create a class student and it inherit from person so from person and student marks uh, so let me make it right in here so uh, class uh, student and uh, from person also student marks okay now in here let me first create the uh, initializer or constructor and after this I'm going to call uh, my two base class uh, constructor so person dot init and uh, student marks dot uh, init and after this let me create a result method so print result and in here uh, I'm going to uh, call uh, my base class method so person dot print details and um, another one is uh, student marks dot print details okay now uh, we have created this class after this let me create an object now my this class can access to my these attributes uh, to these class person and class student marks so I'm going to create a student to one object so student and uh, let me student one dot print result so print result okay now let me run it uh, this is my complete code and I'm going to uh, okay <coughs> let me make it in here and I'm going to run my code okay play uh, enter name so let me enter last name so like this enter phone number for example you can give a phone number enter age okay now please enter your marks let me enter for example this time I want to fail so 20 uh, 30 and also let me give it 20 okay um, now you can see it printed name Parvez, last name pro phone number this age 25 uh, total exam mark 70 because it's less than 80 and it's saying me that you are failed so let me run it again <coughs> let me add for example this time and last name and you can phone number and you can give uh, age enter your marks so 50 uh, 50 90 and now you can see name Parvez and this is phone number and total exam mark 190 and you are successful <laughs> so Thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.